the bracing air of Edmonton, North London, where already the council are pruning trees and we're coming here, the ground force team, to prune a garden and to inject it with a bit of life and turn it into something completely different. Number 37, it's the home of Najet El Frugi, who sent her husband Ahmed away to Morocco, that's where they both come from, for a week and when he gets back, hopefully, we'll have transformed this little patch of Edmonton here into a patch of Morocco. Sand, palm trees, exotic... Back to reality. Round the back, the heavy brigade are exploring the oh, side access. Oh, it's, uh, 37 Latin Road, yeah. Third door. Nice to see you. I'm <laughs> nice Alan. To see you. Who's this? This is Farah. Farah. Ah, oh, it's a bit like <laughs> Fawcett Majors. But sleep dog ahead. Can I come and look at the garden? Yes, you can. Come through. Help! <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness me. This is it. <laughs> this is it. With the water feature that isn't anymore. Good morning. Uh, no. You've not met these two, have you? This isn't a jet. This is Hi. Charlie, Hi. The, the one with the greener fingers of the two, and Tommy, <laughs> whose fingers are decidedly mortar coloured. Usually. Morning. How do you do? Hi, pleased to meet right. you. What do you think to this little um, extravaganza here? <laughs> Where'd you start, oh. It's a long way. <laughs> you don't like it either. Well, that's a very good opinion. <laughs> I haven't got along with that. So you want a touch of Morocco in Edmonton, that yet? Definitely. This is what I thought we'd do. All this, madam, will be swept away before your very eyes. And then at the bottom, we have a gazebo painted blue with a bamboo roof, and that's your sort of focal point in the area under which you can sit and dine. Mm -hmm. To this side of it, here we've got a diamond-shaped pattern of these are going to be sort of large foot-square terracotta tiles. Mm. I knew you'd like it. I knew as soon as I <laughs> saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Exotic planting down either side, very much these hot colours and palms and things like that, which will survive in Edmonton. <laughs> Some terracotta urns. <laughs> the sand pit is in the middle, you see. That's what you were seeing, isn't it? So that's all sand. So it looks kind of Moroccan, but it's practical for kids as well, so that these two can play in the sand pit in the middle. Is your husband, Ahmed, going to like this? Because it's him we're surprising. He doesn't I'm know anything about I'm it. I'm sure he will. Well, I will even if he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> we hope he does. No, he will. I'm sure he will. We went to spy on him last week, being spirited away to Morocco for a few days um, at the airport. <laughs> Najet took Zach, their oldest child, to see Daddy off at Gatwick. Ahmed's off for a week to visit relatives in Fez. Where are you off to today? Um, hopefully sunny Morocco. Hopefully. So, that's it really. And is that big also pleasure? I don't know, to be honest with you. I think it's pleasure. <laughs> Let's hope he's still smiling when he comes home and sees what we've done. My worry is, can you cope with all this? There's quite a lot to do there. Yeah, I think there's a, there's a bit too much for me to do in the time. I mean, there's such a large area of paving and the fencing to be done and the gazebo as well. I don't think we'd, we'd complete it in the two days, not without some help. So I had a word with a friend of mine who said he would come over and help us if we need him, if we're allowed. We'll cheat slightly. <laughs> All right, we get it done. So I've got nothing to do then. Yes, you have. There's a skip waiting outside. <laughs> All this, clear it, Charlie. There's a good egg. All right, well, you're here. It's got some help here. Oh, great. Hi. This is Richard. Hi. Richard, this is Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Nice to meet you. Yeah. You Very come to help us out. I have indeed. Good. Oh. Hi. You must. You must be Richard. Hi, Alan. Doctor okay. Livingstone, I presume. <laughs> yep. We, we've been used to working with Willie and Tommy, but, mm. I mean, you know, I know what it's like. How long have you worked with them? Too long. <laughs> Too <laughs> the long. pair of them. <laughs> Tommy, 15 years. 15 years? How yeah. you survived? No, Five past eleven and the garden clearing is going apace. It's like an iceberg. This is bigger underneath. <laughs> Like my brain. <laughs> Were you ever partial to that water feature? <laughs> Not really. I've been trying to get rid of it ever since we moved oh, in. That's a relief. Um, was it working? It wasn't working when we moved into the house, no. Do you know, in about 50 years' time, somebody's going to come here and look at this garden, if we ever finish it, and say, no, I don't like that, and knock it all down. Put down it's... again, like they're doing oh, now. Thought, <laughs> Never mind. 
Each generation has its own pleasures. How very profound. Oh, it's paint time. Um, if you're doing a Moroccan garden, everybody tends to think, oh, Yves Saint Laurent, blue, you know, that really royal blue. Uh, but it's a bit hackneyed now, everybody's been doing it. So I found a blue, that's Morocco, you do need blue, called Iris, which I think is, is rather nice because it's just a little bit duskier, a hint of lavender. And hopefully it'll transform this rather old and battered, tired looking into urban fencing into something more cerulean blue. To make one hexagonal gazebo, take three bits of stick two metres long and cross them on the ground. Then, with bits one metre long, space the ends evenly to make six equilateral triangles. Mark with a peg at each corner. What are you doing, Richard? Setting out? Yep, I'm just setting out the, the shape of the, the golia to take the, the post now. I'm going to start pegging around the outside, ready to set the post in concrete. All right. so, well, you've had half your first day. It's two minutes to twelve. I know. Got to get stuck in. Mm. Richard shoveling in Will's dry concrete mix, checking that the post is vertical before it's firmed up with a timber tamper. Now, to attack the fence on the other side, it's very tatty, but by painting it and adding trellis, we aim to transform it completely. <laughs> Five past two on day one and high time we started on the paving. This is the bedding mix. Four parts sharp sand for strength to two soft sand for pliability to one cement. And it goes straight on to firm earth. No problem for light pedestrian traffic. Come in. Are these the ones here? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Yes, these are what we're going to use. Nice terracotta, aren't they? Really? Yeah. <clears throat> Good. Well, they look terracotta, but they're not the concrete tiles. They're just concrete tiles, cast concrete tiles, but they have that um, nice French floor yeah. tile look, you know? Or Moroccan tile. in this case. And there's only 250 of them to lay. Down the other end, Tommy's alter ego is coming on with the gazebo. These skirting pieces form the hexagon and hold the posts in place while they're set. Upper fascia boards hold the tops together. And then rafters fit across the top. Hello? Hi. You all right? Not too bad. How's it going? Too bad. Enjoying yourself? Bring me some nice vases. Yeah? Yeah. Is that all? Yeah, just, you know, the, um, I can't think what they're called. You know, like the ones that we eat the couscous in? Uh, not a lot, not a lot. Just the usual, taking back to the nursery. It's really hot. No, oh, lucky you, it's raining here. Is it? All right, I don't think I'm going to, well, I'm not going to bother drive to the airport because of all the traffic, so I might get Anwar to meet you at the station to help you with the luggage. Cough. <laughs> Cut off. Cut off. <laughs> he's calling from a call box. <laughs> but he didn't say anything, he's got no idea. No, he just sort of asked me what I'd like him to bring, what he'd like, what I would like him to bring back for me, so... I like the pots, they yeah, sound very nice. Yeah, I want the pots, the vases, so... <laughs> it's five to four, though, we're not nearly halfway with this treasure. I have nowhere uh, to put your pots if I don't crack the whips. It's, it's this time tomorrow that I'll be worrying if it still looks like this. <laughs> You'll be worried, Tommy! Tommy's a slab, happy chappy, streaking ahead with the Moroccan paving. <laughs> And after laying, they need grouting with a bone-dry mix of three parts sand to one cement. Whee! Oh, nice. That's good, isn't it? Mm, it's yeah. not come out bad at all. Lovely colour. Mm. The left-hand fence with its new posts, paint and trellis is beginning to look a treat too. I'll come a point in a minute where I'll find myself in this garden and I can't get out. Next door. Oh. <laughs> Hiya. Right. What do you reckon, then? Very nice. Shrieks Morocco, doesn't it? Hot, baking sun. Well, the sun's come out at last. <laughs> no, it's about time. It's coming together, though, isn't it, with the blue down the sides? Definitely, yeah. It's starting to look like Morocco. It's starting to look like. I think we'll call it, though. It's just gone six. Charlie! Call me a cab. Get your own. 
<laughs> no, you're supposed to say you're a cab. Huh? Say good night, Charlie. Good night, Charlie. Oh, no. <laughs> come on, you can come as well if you're good. What do you do with them? Good night, the jet. Good night, Alan. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Where are you going? Well, you're off, Dave. Well, it's either lay the floor or have a drink, whichever you prefer. I'm having a drink. I'll put this down, I'll be with you. <laughs> Ground Force Task Date 2, Captain Slog. Our mission, to make Edmonton green. Oh, 0900 hours, time to get fell in. Morning. <laughs> Loving stump. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. You're walking on it. Is it OK to this morning? I don't know, ask the man. Because you're so light and delicate, I should imagine... <laughs> it's yeah, OK. Can't, Charlie, oh. you can't walk on it. Oh, no. Come on, then, chaps. And then tea. Oh, yes, please. Milk, sugar? Just milk, Just thanks. Milk. Tommy's first task, digging out the sandpit. Charlie's giving the old lean-to a scratch, ready for a coat of Morocco-style blue. And me? I'm trimming down the tops of the new fence posts. I know. I know it's sloping. How else are they going to shed the rain? Oh, that's a good one. Our other skilled woodworker, Richard, is starting on the decked floor of the gazebo. Will, with that special insight that comes from years of working alongside a colleague, has begun mixing mortar. One other vital team member is Great Granny, whose task it is to baby mind. It's that funny sort of lull, nobody makes a noise, and then we'll still be getting on. It's 25 to 11. Charlie's painting the wall, and that rather crummy lean-to is being transformed. They're going to knock it down eventually, but at least for as many months as it's up, it'll look pretty, and it'll look past the Moroccan garden. And it looks great, I think, with these tiles. I'm just getting out the sand pit before we put the membrane in and the sand on top. Himself is carrying on working that way as far as the gay zebra, which Richard seems to be doing awfully well with. Um, and the sun's shining, which we're not at all used to. Worrying. <laughs> In the sand pit, on top of the water permeable membrane goes play sand. Soft, clean and safe for kids of all ages. Oh, that's nice. At last it's time for some plants. What is this? Some Moroccan lunch. Wow, we get sandwiches normally. It's got to be better than sandwiches. Is this great grandma? Great granny's cooking. Great granny, you are she's, a star. She's been busy making you couscous. Wonderful. <laughs> yes. Stop the man using the saw and turn to have some couscous. This is wonderful. Wow, well, I think lunch is ready, mate. Oh, well, thank you very much. Cool. Yeah, nice. What's thank, thank you in Arabic? Shukran. 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 <laughs> wonderful. Shukran. Bon appetit. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yes. I'll get you a bigger spoon as well, too. Um, so you can shovel it in, you mean. Yum. Well, this is definitely a first for me. You know what's going to be interesting about this? Mm. If my wife sees me eating this, that means she's going to get back into her experimental mode. Mm. Five to one. 
uh, and chaos reigns, really. All the pots are coming in, all the plants are coming in, and frankly, at the moment, it looks rubbish.